On that side note, in regards to Combat Wombat, I want to read off the following tweets. But before that, dear Amos, wherever did Combat Wombat ever did get his information from? Hi. So, uh, remember how I asked Kino about his alleged relationship with a 14-year-old? By the way, Amos is going by Kino. I can't imagine why he's trying to rebrand. She just contacted me and has proof of him creeping on her. Here is from a discussion that Combat Wombat posted on Twitter. Hey, buddy. Hey, pal. I know how you said that anyone could debate with you, but when someone offered to debate, you declined because they didn't have enough Twitter followers or clout. It's clear you only want attention. I read your studies and citations. They were theories about the ethics of children giving consent. Also, theories aren't fact, but you pretended they were. Also, I have proof of your inappropriate relationships with a 14-year-old, something you dodged in the stream. Kino, that's Amos. Oh, sorry for responding late. I just noticed this. Dude. You're a public figure as much as I am. I'm sure many people have called on you to want to stream and debate before. Obviously, you can't entertain the hundreds of people who are interested. I'd be perfectly willing to debate someone with a lesser following if they seem cool and reasonable. In fact, I'm thinking about talking with some people with less than 2,000 followers right now. Ah, my door's still open, Amos. These studies aren't theories. The sample size is large, the methodology is credible, and I explained why these studies are credible to an extent in the stream, why we did it before and I'm willing to discuss it with you again at any time if you ever plan another stream on that issue. I'd pay to be there, but I think Combat Wombat actually has all the information that I have, so it wouldn't be necessary. You got set up by being baited into believing that I abused a 14-year-old girl by an anonymous source. No, no sir! I beg to defer, Kino. There's nothing anonymous. My name is Anthony Aguilar. I go by FNGR. I emailed you. You never responded. Without context or screenshots and absolute false claims, which if they had actual merit, I would have been arrested already. Well, that's that's not necessarily true. Y2K Toon Critic from the Bernie fandom wasn't arrested for trying to groom a girl. Kirill the Wolf wasn't arrested for abusing multiple animals. It's taken them two to three years to finally get off their ass to do anything about Foxler and the furry fandom. Uh, the almighty Torah has just recently been arrested, but more often than not, the people online who do terrible things like yourself get away with it. And you know that. With your inability to distinct how one study is credible or not, of course you'd be conned into believing this is an absolute lie about me. Again, I want you to explain, Amos, why a 14-year-old had nudes of you. If, if you have a reasonable rationale why they're out there, Pro Jared was just a thing, and he was able to come forward and give an explanation, so let's hear yours. Let's talk about this, really. Let's talk about what this is really about. You're upset that I beat you in the debate on pedophilia. You wanted a map to roast publicly on stream, but instead I won 60 to 40. You could not stand losing, so, so you personally attacked me by falsely claiming I abused a minor to try and make yourself feel better. Amos, I watched that stream. He was very civil with you. I was trying everything in my power to try and get a hold of combat, but he was focused on the stream and gave you the respect that one would arguably give to a guest. Which, you know, if it hadn't have been you, I... <clears throat> you know what? I've, I've been overly civil with some undeserving guests in the past, so I won't judge. I know this is true. Otherwise, you wouldn't have spent the past three days in your YouTube comment section of your debate responding and liking all your fans' comments, insulting me, and saying that you did well in the debate. You didn't. It's kind of weak. From Combat Wombat. That's really funny. One, you're not a public figure. No one knows who you are. And you're no one. You're a pedophile that everyone thinks is deplorable and want nothing to do with. You declined to debate with someone who wouldn't give you attention. Two, the studies you tout is proving your point. One concluded that HIV and sexual risks taking was higher in those who consented to sex when they were young and that did not prove the ethics of the act at all. The other said that eight-year-olds are able to verbally communicate with adults very well, so somehow you think that proves that you can have sex with them. Three, you are an absolute joke. I have proof that you have sexually harassed a 14-year-old and sent her nudes. You are walking on very fucking thin ice, pal. Four, you didn't beat me in a debate on pedophilia. You lost the second you stepped into the Discord call. I made a fool out of you in front of 2,000 people. You stuttered, got flustered, got silent, and when I questioned you, like when I asked if you would make out with a four-year-old, per your logic, 
I have undeniable proof that you have creeped on a 14-year-old and your ass is grass there. I did exactly what I set out to do in that debate, and that was to display how disgusting people like you are to everyone who watched. I did just that. You're a joke. And you'll fade back into obscurity as soon as this stream stops getting views.